James Tushner with Ag Tire Talk here. I'm with Jay with Magni Telehandlers. And we're here to talk about an exciting thing that's going on in the telehandler market, and specifically that these telehandlers are so much versatile than they used to be just a few years ago. So Jay, you're, you've been in the ag business, you've, you've been on a farm, you've lived on a farm, so why don't you tell us about some of the things that the telehandlers can do today that just a few years ago they, they really couldn't. Yeah, so thank you. But yeah, these, these machines are great machines. They're very versatile, like you said. Um, and some of the ag applications we're starting to see them is, you know, a lot of guys, they'll use a telehandler, they'll use a, a fixed telehandler versus, versus a rotating. But with a fixed telehandler, they can put a bucket on them. They can load, you know, they can load trucks with lime or load their fertilizer spreaders with lime. You know, there's a lot of guys that are using them to load. If everybody's gone to the big square bales of straw. Big square bales, yeah. Day, so, you, you know, one of the issues is to move them, you want to put Amen. them in a 52-foot box truck. So how do you how do you get it in? We well, use an expanded boom forklift or a reach forklift to push them in. You know, so let's just talk about how you can consolidate equipment. So you know, a lot of times, what do we have? We've got a loader on the farm, right? We've got a skid steer on the farm. Clearly, we have tractors. So let's talk about how this telehandler, with all the features it has, can consolidate the equipment needs. So with one of these machines and the 100 different attachments that we make, you can you know you can have forks on it, of course. So if you got to load something or unload it, but you can put a bucket on it, which I previously discussed. But how many times on the farm do you need maybe a man lift to get up to, to, work on a, to work on a grain bed yes. or you know whatever? So you can stick a man lift on these, and it, so you've got a man lift on site on your farm with a piece of equipment that you're using for several other other pieces. Um, we also have winches you can put on them so that if you're if you're raising a grain leg or something, you can use a winch to. You can use a winch that you got a small crane on your farm. I mean, there's so many different things that these work as. We call them like the Swiss Army knife of construction. That's equipment. awesome. That's awesome. But yeah, it's just it, the versatility of these machines, and then then coupled with the fact that these machines are made that you can actually take these down the road. The rotators will go 25 miles an a hour. Big deal. That's a big deal. Like double over what yes. it gets to your yeah. hill. Yeah, that's so, a big deal. So if you know if you don't have a low boy to haul it, you can just drive it down the road. It's got turn signals. It's got high beams. It's got low beams. It's you know fully road capable. Um, but we we make three different styles of telehandlers. We make a fixed telehandler, which is just a fixed boom that just the boom goes in and out. Yep. We make a rotator, which is what you see here. Yes. And so it'll rotate, so it works kind of like a crane. Yep. And then the other part, the other ones we make is a heavy lift telehandler. Uh -huh. So on, on our fixed booms, they go from, you know, 48 feet up to 80 feet yes. of height. On the rotators, they go from 57 feet up to 167 feet. Uh, you can feet. do a lot with that. Yes. And on the, on the heavy lift like we have back here, they go from 22,000 pounds up to 100,000 pounds. Okay. Super versatile. All right, so let's talk about the versatility for a moment. You know, one of the things that is really cool about this when it comes to the maneuverability, these things steer like a crab. So you can, like, four-wheel steer them. You can crab steer them. They really are very maneuverable, far more than I anticipated. And let's just talk about one other feature of this particular uh, telehandler that's worth noting is the tire piece and the versatility of that. So we're going to take a look at this tire just a little bit closer and take a, just a, a little bit of a focus pan in. Look at this tread design. We've got a very high void ratio so you can get that traction piece when it's real soft soil. But look at that. In the middle when you're doing those upper 20 miles an hour, it's got that low void ratio so you're going to get a great ride and it's going to... Uh, perform remarkably well with high speed so really you know the big point is on all this when you're thinking about equipment out there you really need to think about a telehandler and all the versatility that it can bring to in today's world because you know you might really be able to save some input costs and improve some productivity